The fact remains that the green revolution was f uh, fueled by uh, chemistry and chemicals, but we did not uh, see the unintended consequences, the impact that it has not only on the planet, but on our health. Hello and welcome to Disrupted. I'm David Pollard. Getting chemicals out of the food chain is not only a must-do for healthy consumers, but in future could also increasingly offer a route to healthy balance books. Step in a number of startups attracting financial backing from big and small investors as they develop AI-driven weed-killing robots. One such company is iGen, maker of the iGen Element, a small solar and wind-powered drone that its creators say is the way forward for sustainable regenerative agriculture. Well, Kenny Lee is one of those creators. Kenny, these robots are designed to work autonomously, sleeping and waking up on farms, but how do they actually extract and dispose of the weeds? What is the technology at work here? It deploys uh, mechanical arms with blades at the end of it, and we use artificial intelligence to target the weeds that we want to remove, and it deploys the arms to actually dig the weeds out. And as it actually digs it out, you're uprooting the, um, the weeds, um, uprooting the roots of the weeds, and then nature takes care of the rest of it. Um, so imagine someone being uh, sitting in an office, in an air-conditioned office, with a screen of remote-controlled robots being their eyes and ears, and the, the human would be the brains of the operations of it all so that they could actually go back to making decisions about farming and not actually having to go out and manual, do the manual labor piece uh, of the difficult operations. Getting rid of weeds, getting rid of herbicides and pesticides, a need gaining more and more attention as pressure rises to protect the planet for future generations. Nearly a third of the Earth's soil is already degraded, and an area of soil the size of a soccer pitch is eroded every five seconds, according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. And the cost of not doing it is high for consumers and corporations. Germany's buyer has faced extensive litigation over the glyphosate weed killer Roundup. It settled much of that for $10.9 billion in 2020, but still faces over 50,000 claims alleging that Roundup causes cancer. It's a background picture that makes this a personal mission for Kenny and his co-founder, Richard Worden. I myself, when I was younger, I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, which there's linkages to the pesticides in our food. And uh, my co-founder, Rich, he also is type 1 diabetic. So we're very uh, in tune with the inputs and nutrients that's going into our body. The fact here is that pesticides and herbicides are extremely effective. If it was not, uh, farmers would not have had massive adoption globally. But the fact remains that, again, we haven't been able to see the future of unintended con consequences that we're seeing now many decades ago. And so farmers are left with without many choices. A message iGen says is all the more pressing because of the labor shortages and aging demographic of American farmers. Investors seem to be listening. iGen closed a $12 million Series A funding round last year. With 880 million acres of farmland in the US and close to 2 million farms, it's a small step into a potentially massive market. And who are, would you say, your ideal investors? And would you take investment from the big chemical firms like Bayer? That, that is a really good question. Uh, and we struggle with this, uh, and we still struggle with it. But I think absolutely the answer to that is we need everyone's buy-in uh, to make a change. The fact remains that less than 2% of global acres is organic. And we're driven with some of the uh, challenges that we have today, especially around rising food costs. So you have to make organic farming easier, or you have to make regenerative farming, uh, which is a next step level up from organic, uh, easier and cheaper for actually growers to grow so that you pass down those savings to the consumers like yourself and I.